minute and look at the buildup of lime scale on your taps and to think we use this water every day on our skin and hair. This stuff is scary. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Iman, I suffer from hair loss and I use effective natural methods that are scientifically backed to help improve my hair loss. So if that is something that you are interested in, don't forget to subscribe and join this empowering community. Today we're gonna to be talking about hard water. What is hard water and what's the difference between hard water and soft water? Does hard water cause hair loss and bad skin? And we will learn what you can do to stop hard water from ruining your hair. So first thing is what is hard water? Hard water is the collection of water from deep underground. It is rich in minerals like calcium and magnesium. It runs through rocks accumulating these minerals as it flows through. This is important because your tap water tends to be pumped deep underground. And that's why you see that lime scale in your kettles, on your taps. And it's one of the hardest things to clean. It's also gross, but imagine this accumulating on your scalp, yikes. Soft water is a lot nicer and kinder, hence the name soft but it's generally surface water like rainwater. But it is not as black and white as this. It is a spectrum and the tap water that comes out of your taps is not all the same and it really depends on how it's collected. According to the Water Quality Association, water becomes slightly hard when the grains per gallon reaches one to 3.5. Water becomes hard when the GPG stands between seven and 10.5. Anything above 10.5 is very, hard water so if you are a tenner and above eat you gotta sort that water out so how can we know when we are using hard water you should be able to ask your local council or your water provider and they should tell you how hard your water is if they are unable to tell you firstly you should have a go at them because they should know this alternatively you can get a kit and test it out for yourself or you can use this map of the UK or the US to see which area you live in and how hard that water tends to be in that area so the reason you're here is for this question and do count Calcium deposits cause hair loss or bad skin? The short answer is yes. Scientists agree that hard water does change the texture of your hair and this is because calcium makes the hair shaft stand up, giving that dry, brittle, textured look. The calcium can also clog your pores. If it can clog your taps, then it can clog your pores. Hard water is essentially calcium carbonate. When this mineral comes in contact with your skin or with your hair, this can lead to calcification. Scientists have shown that scalp calcification can cause hair loss. Calcification can start to restrict the blood flow. When you have restricted blood flow, your hair doesn't have the nutrients it needs to grow and survive. The restriction of blood flow starves the hair for Follicles and can cause inflammation of the scalp. These are two things that can destroy hair follicles. The hard water produces a film on the hair, meaning that moisture cannot penetrate the hair strap. As a result, this leads to dry hair and hair that is prone to breakage and split ends. <laughs> And there is science to back this up. There was a study in 2016 with 15 females that showed that hard water damaged their hair. Hair samples were washed with distilled water or hard water for 30 days. What's actually so shocking is that after 30 days, the hair samples that were washed in hard water decreased in thickness, was more dry, more damaged, and more brittle, giving it more a ruffled appearance. <laughs> Guys, I need to sort out my hard water. Just like, are you seeing my hair right now? <laughs> Literally everything that I'm saying is like my hair. Additionally, hair symptoms that you can experience while washing your hair in hard water include breakage, thinning, tangles, dry scalp, dullness, a green hue or brassiness, as well as frizziness. But there is hope guys. What can you do to stop hard water ruining your hair? You can use a shower filter, yay! Shower filter will really help with reducing hard water. I have done a lot of research and this one came up top. This is an Aqua Home Group filter. It has a powerful water filtration with 15 stages. Ultra thin stainless steel mesh, PP cotton, high density stainless steel mesh in stage three, alkaline ceramic balls, Mafen stone, KDF 55, microporous ceramic balls, vitamin C, coconut activated carbon, geranium balls, declonorination ball 
calcium sulfite, magnetic energy ceramic balls, ultra fine stainless steel mesh, PP cotton and high density stainless steel mesh. So this removes chlorine, heavy metals, pesticides and inhibits the growth resisting and killing golding staphylococcus and colobacillus. <laughs> I don't even know what these bacteria are but you know what I mean. You got it. You understood it. Promises to reduce dry, itchy skin, dandruff, eczema, and dramatically improves your skin, hair, and nails. Perfect for people with sensitive skin. I'm really excited to use it, guys, and show you how I am going to put it on my shower. It looks really easy, and what's great is it comes with two extra cartridges, which equals one year of showers. So it's a really good value for money. I got mine from Amazon and I'll link it in the description. So guys, let us put it into the shower. I'm gonna use it, tell you guys how I found the shower experience. I love the fact it's got vitamin C in it. Like, who doesn't need extra vitamin C in their life? I do, all right? I do. Just look how many stages there are. There's just a million. Oh, sexy, sexy. A bit naughty, isn't it? Oi, oi. I don't know about you, but the lime scale on the tap freaks me out. Like, that is going into our skin and our pores. We're using it every day. It's accumulating. Scalp calcification is a thing, guys. It's a thing. Not only that, but pineal gland calcification. <laughs> the shower filter for about a week and I can honestly say that my hair and my skin I definitely notice a difference I don't know if it's a placebo effect but my hair does feel softer and my skin more hydrated and who doesn't want vitamin C everywhere so I have washed my hair today and I definitely definitely see a difference I'm really really excited about this product and I couldn't recommend it enough if you guys want me to review another product hit me in the comments I really love doing these types of videos if you're interested in learning more about hair loss make sure to check out my how to be hairless playlist but until next time i will see you guys in the next video peace